hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today is day five of project 50 and today we are cooking the kitchen is like it's it's my playground well it used to be my playground and so i'm slowly making my way back to the kitchen cooking really is my love language i love cooking for the people that i love so let's go make some so see when i was younger i think around 16 i'm not sure exactly the age but somewhere around my teens everyone around me they were sharing this little recipe on how to make your own vegetable acha i think there was one lady who i don't know if she had created it herself or she had found the recipe somewhere but i i remember just seeing her handwriting everywhere because she had you know it was just literally spreading you know it was i'd say it was trending just like this other thing that i'm gonna share later that i do believe that it was also trending but I was 16 I do think that I tried to make it once and I didn't follow the recipe made it my own thing and that's what I'm gonna do today again as we make the vegetable acha I'm gonna make it my own so let's go so our ingredients for today are chopped up green beans into little little pieces and also some cauliflower also cut up into little pieces and then we have some chopped up cabbage and grated carrot moving on we're gonna use this spiced masala we're also gonna use some turmeric i just don't have it here and then some vinegar and some sunflower oil i believe in heart tots like i can never cook up in anything else but heart i'll be making my acha in this heart pot like guys i people who cook pap in other pots does it like really like I don't know how to say it in English. Does does it vote? Like, like I, I don't get it. So I've tried it before. It's kibodza. If you don't use hard, I feel like mbodza, bodza. Um, I don't know what you call bodza or mbodza in Zulu. At least I know it in Sutu and 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 Shangan. But hard is it. This is the pot. So this is where I'll be cooking my thing. Okay, in your pot, you're gonna add three cups of vinegar, and then after your three cups of vinegar, you're gonna add four cups of water. And then add all your veggies in there. Honestly, I don't know why I was alternating. I'm sure I had a good reason in my head, but I, I just, just can't make it out right now. But add all your veggies inside of that vinegar and water mixture and when you're done adding all your veggies you put it on the stove top to boil a little bit you can boil you can boil it for like 20 minutes you don't want to cook them you still want your veggies to be nice and crunchy so you can just always taste to see that they're still crunchy Oh, smells very vinegary. So there we go. Now I need to drain out the vinegar and water solution because oh, I think it's 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 cooked enough because you want to cook it long enough to for it to have like a crunch still, so it can't be that long. And uh, but still, you wanted to get the vinegar in, you know, for the preserve is it preservation and just for the taste. So. I'm gonna quickly uh, do the thing so we can spice it up, add some oil, and that's it. I mean, that's this is my recipe. You can try it out yourself and all that. Let me just um, drain it so I can spice it up, put some oil, and we've got some vegetable acha. And so, this is the spice that we'll be using it's like the acha masala. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. That's the acha that uh, I mean. That's the acha spice that we're using. Acha masala. Uh, I'm gonna add more stuff as well. I again, I think um, you one should add it to their taste. Um, as you can see, literally, I I boiled 
I boiled. I, I boiled. <laughs> yeah, I know. Skhoa is run away every day. It keeps moving further away. It keeps moving to the east or to the west or whatever. But Skhoa is run away from me. Um, hmm. Smells very, I don't know. You're gonna add more. Oh, just taste to see that you are on the right track. You know? Uh, let me just take. Mmm, that's baba. Just gonna add a little bit more. But mm -mm. very baba baba. Man, fellow would be like. <gasps> I always buy mild, mild, because the hot one, I think they even add, um, what do you call this? I think they even add, chili, like the real chili, so. One ingredient I forgot in the lineup was the <laughs> was the, the 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 tomato sauce. So we're gonna add the tomato sauce, and then after the tomato sauce, it's the oil. What happened to my oil? We're gonna add those two, and then we're putting it in a jar, and we are done. Okay, so adding the tomato sauce, you don't have to add a whole lot. You can substitute it for sweet sweet chili sauce next time I'm gonna substitute it for sweet chili a bit of oil Ooh. here we go mm. so this is the bottle I'm gonna store it in I think I got it from mr. price a couple of it mr. price home a couple of years ago it is such a pretty jar very very pretty I don't think it will fit so I'll get other jars to put the rest of the acha in there. I'm not gonna put it in the jar. I don't think this is the right thing to use. And let's try this one. We are done. There it is. So, um, some advice I'd say if you don't, I like it super tangy. So, I'd say use like um, less vinegar, like maybe one and a half instead of three. Um, and with the tomato sauce, I'd say maybe a tablespoon or two, you know, just to make it a bit wet. So, I just love tangy, that's why I had a whole lot of um, vinegar and a whole lot of tomato sauce but then as a substitute i'd say instead of three cups of vinegar use one and a half or two um, and instead of a whole lot of tomato sauce a tablespoon or two i'd say two tablespoons just to wet it up a bit you know but there it is there's the finished product it looks mm, it smells delish mine has a lot of tomato sauce don't do that you might not like it but if you like tomato sauce then you can go for it ah, super pretty Look at that. Ooh. So I'm gonna close it up. I think this would make like a nice gift to give to someone, you know? Personalized gifts are so cool. When you buy someone, when you make someone something, you know, it means something. So there it is. There's a homemade um, vegetable acha. Again, please. If you don't like it tangy and super strong, less vinegar, less tomato sauce, you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna love it.